Welcome to Friday, everyone. Today's May 14th, 2021. My name is Jenny, and you're on In Spiritual Trail. I'm here to do your daily message, as always, guided by spirit um, through oracle cards, sometimes tarot cards. Um, I do want to say a few things before I get started. I am putting out the shadow messages, and uh, please don't think that I'm doing this to be cruel or mean or to bash anybody, but I just, I am a big believer that we have to look at the shadows in order to heal um, I think that's a lot of people's problems that they bury them underneath or don't want to admit them or not even aware of them. Um, and that's part of the problem where we need to heal to keep moving forward because that's where we have the um, the shadows such as fear, being stuck, not wanting to move forward, blaming everyone else, feeling we're not worthy enough, things like that. So we really have to get at those roots. So that's why I wanted to do a little extra with the shadow messages. I probably won't be doing them all the time, but I just wanted to put them out there this this month. Um, I do appreciate all the support. Oh, and as far as putting out the shadows, um, a lot of people want to sweet talk everything and butter everything up and say, oh, it's fine, you know, and they want to ignore the shadows as well when it's like slapping them right in the face. Think of me as that friend that's very honest and will tell you what you need to hear, whether you like it or not. Because, you know, honestly, it's the best policy. It, I mean, as long as you're not doing it in a cruel, mean, mean way, like just to pick at somebody or whatever, I'm just doing it so you can raise your vibration and um, possibly when those things come up, you aren't triggered, that you uh, recognize them and you've already done the work to heal them or you can step back and like, okay, why is this bothering me? Why, uh, why am I being triggered by this? And you can get to that root of that problem. Because a lot of us, of course, we came in, we, we were... Um, put here on earth for a mission and a purpose to do it. And then on along the way, we've had things happen to us um, that have caused wounds and shadows. And, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to heal them. So anyway, without being that, we're going to go ahead and get into, oh, and also, I kind of look at it this way. If you're serious about getting on your mission and raising your vibration so you can get on that mission, many of us are here to heal others and to teach others and, um, raise the vibration of the uh, earth, us, us empaths, or us light workers, us healers, things like that. So if you're really serious about doing that, you have to face those shadows, okay? So that being said, and I promise you'll be fine. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective. It's a matter of listening to your intuition and finding what that root cause is and healing it, okay? Once and for all, looking that shadow in the face and saying, you know, I can get through this. It's making me strong, right? All right, now, enough about that. We're going to be tapping into two oracle decks today. I'm not going to use tarot today. Um, I'm going to be using the Divine Guidance and the Heart and Soul cards. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to bring forth to us today, okay? What does Spirit want to bring out for us today? Oh, and one more thing, too. I'm getting a few people asking me advice or what to do, this and that which I feel very grateful for, but I just want to remind you guys, I am a registered nurse, but I am and a healer and an empath um, and a soul just like you that wants the highest good for the, uh, for the uh, earth, the collective. Um, but just keep in mind that I am not a uh, licensed counselor or therapist. I do want to get my um, life coaching though. So I have been doing a lot of studying for that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to let you know that. So I do appreciate your advice, but just realize that, you know, I, I don't have a license behind it as a counselor or anything, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the message, okay? Let's see what spirit wants to bring out, okay? Of course, I'm a big support person now for you, definitely. But again, I'm gonna tell you like it is. So those messages that are coming up for the shadows is it's what's coming in the cards, right? So all right, so let's go ahead and say, Spirit, what would you like to, to bring forth today for the collective? What message? What message do you want to bring forth? Okay. Alright, so we have this one, number nine. So take a look at this card. See if it brings up any um, thoughts. Anything coming up in your intuition or anything like that? Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and get this message. Number nine. Sometimes it can tap into your subconscious and make you aware of something. But let's see what the meaning is of the book. Number nine. Okay. So we have rewards. So this is about rewards. We have liftoff energetically and physically. Things are about to take off in your world. Hold on to your hat. All that hard work is about to pay off. 
Whatever your venture is right now, there is a great movement coming. Things are about to skyrocket for you. Good things do come, and this is your time to enjoy them. You have done the work. Now it's time to reap the, reap the rewards. Congratulations. Well, that's good news. See? All this work, you know, it's, it's getting us somewhere, believe it or not, right? All right. And I can tell you, like, the work I've done, like, before I was like, this isn't getting anywhere. And sometimes I do wonder about the timing. But I can, I can actually go with the flow and be more at peace and trust the uh, universe and spirit a lot more. Like I don't freak out as much as I used to. And other people, if they want to pick or nitpick or, or whatever, I don't, I don't really, you know, I'll, I want to get with my own vibe. And if they want to do all that stuff, I'm, I'm just, you know, not, I'm not into it. You know? <laughs> I don't need the, their, the popularity of them or anything. So I feel a lot better. I hope you guys out there do too. If you do, let me know, like some of the stuff that you went through and things like that. And of course, I know you probably don't want to list it in the comments for everybody to read, but that would be nice to know. But okay, now we are going to get these heart and soul messages. Heart and soul messages. What's coming up for the collector? These are big and heart shaped, so they're a little... Okay, Spirit, what do you want to bring forth? What message for the collective with this rewards? We have, okay, so, oh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, look at this card. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this says, a smile fills your heart with longing. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another and love becomes all embracing to thought. By a touch, a word, or a glance, love heals, unites, transforms, and transfigures all things. This is your season of love, a time of positive transformation, a time of happiness. Well, that's beautiful. I love that one too. Aww. My heart. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. We're getting rewards and all this. Time for happiness. So, you know, all that hard work's paying off. All that healing is paying off. So keep it up. Keep it up, guys. Um, so that's your message for this ride. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you back here tomorrow with the daily. And I will be putting out the rest of those healing messages. Um, hopefully the weekend. Like I said, I have to work some today. But... The weekend, I'll try to get them out there. So, thanks so much for watching and for support. Peace.